The Nativity, the Story of Baby Jesus by May Elliott, illustrated by Richard Johnson. Long ago, in a little town called Nazareth, lived a young woman called Mary. She was going to be married to Joseph, a carpenter. One day, when Mary was alone in her home, an amazing thing happened. A beautiful angel shining brightly appeared and told Mary that he had some very great news for her. This was the angel Gabriel, and he told Mary that God had chosen her for a very special task. She was to have a child, and he would be the Son of God. He would be called Jesus, and would be very important for all of mankind. When the angel Gabriel left, Mary was astonished and amazed. She told Joseph all that the angel Gabriel had said. And as time passed, she found out that she was indeed to have a baby. But as the time of the baby's arrival grew nearer, King Herod decreed that everyone must go and put their name on a register. Mary and Joseph would have to travel to Bethlehem. The journey was long and tiring. Mary and Joseph traveled by donkey along hot and dusty roads. Finally, they arrived at Bethlehem. But because of King Herod's decree, it was very busy. Mary and Joseph needed to find a room for the night. So Joseph knocked at the door of an inn. But he was told that there was no room for him and Mary. Joseph tried again and again, but to no avail. All the inns were full, and they were turned away. It was dark and growing cold, and Mary felt sure it wouldn't be long before the baby would be born. Joseph tried one final inn, and though it was full, the kindly innkeeper took pity on Mary and Joseph. He told them that they could sleep in his stable. Mary and Joseph were very grateful. They led their donkey into the warm stable and made a bed in the straw amongst the cows and the horses and the other animals. Mary knew that her special baby would soon be born. And then the baby Jesus came, there in the stable, surrounded by the peaceful watching animals. Mary wrapped him up to keep him warm and placed him in a manger, where the hay was kept for a bed. Up in the hills, some shepherds were watching their flock by night, when they were blinded by a bright light. It was an angel and he brought them great news. He told them that they must go to Bethlehem, where a very special baby had been born. So they set off straight away, following a bright star in the sky. Meanwhile in the east, three wise men also saw this bright new star in the sky. They knew that a very special baby had been born, and they too set off following the star.
it was very peaceful in the stable in Bethlehem. Just then, the door creaked open. The baby's visitors had arrived. The three shepherds came in, telling Mary and Joseph that they had traveled a long way to see the special baby. They had brought Jesus a gift of a baby lamb. And then more visitors arrived. It was the three wise men, bearing beautiful and expensive gifts for the baby Jesus. One brought gold, one brought myrrh, and one brought frankincense. They explained that they too had followed the bright star in the sky to come to see the special baby. The three wise men laid down their gifts where the baby Jesus lay in his manger. The shepherds and the wise men gazed upon his face and knew, as the angel had foretold, that this baby would be very important for all of mankind. As the stars twinkled and the angels sang, Mary, Joseph, the shepherds, the three wise men, and all the animals gathered round the baby Jesus together for they knew this had been a very special day.